It's early in the spring season here on Cape Cod, and I've got a whole bucket full of green crabs that I plan on using to hopefully catch my first big tautog of the 2020 season. Hey everyone, Brian here from My Fish in Cape Cod with you for another adventure. It's an absolutely spectacular spring day here on the Cape and I am going to head out in the kayak and hopefully catch some big scup and to tog. So let's head out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day and hopefully we'll get lucky. We'll see what we can find. Saltwater kayak fishing has become very popular. However, please remember that kayak fishing during the springtime on Cape can be extremely dangerous due to the frigid water temperatures. One thing I just want to mention when you're fishing this early in the year, the water is still very cold. It's only about 50, 52 degrees right now. It's very important that I have my life jacket on. You just got to be super cautious this time of the year because again, that water is bone chilling cold. All right, let's find some fish. So this is a two ounce jig and you can see there's no, you know, bucktail or feathers on it. And that's because I'm going to hook on some of those green crabs that I caught the other day in my pot. So with these crabs, I'm just going to trim off the claws. These scissors, these bait scissors are super useful. Much better than trying to use a knife. I'm just going to cut that guy down the middle. I'm going to cut up a few so I have bait ready to go. So now I'm going to take my Togzilla jig. I'm just going to thread it through one of the leg sockets. Pull off the claw. And I'm good to go, but I am going to really load this up. I have plenty of crabs, so why not? load it up with bait. All right, so now I'm just gonna let this go down right to the bottom. I'm fishing now in about 20, 25 feet of water. I'm just gonna leave that right on the bottom. Try to keep the line vertical, straight up and down. Oh. Just had a few more very small nibbles. Definitely a couple small little taps. Oh. Oh, a few more small nibbles. Come on. Oh, that was a slightly better hit. Oh, come on, come back for it. Oh. Oh, it feels small. What do we got? Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Beautiful scup. All right, that's a nice keeper scup right there. Awesome. I'm pumped up about that. Definitely got to bring this guy home for dinner. What a beautiful fish. Scup are awesome, especially when they're this big. The little scup I don't care for, but look at that guy. That is a beautiful scup. Awesome. Thank you. Beautiful keeper scup. Current is definitely moving a little better now. Scup and Tautog migrate into Cape waters during the springtime. And as you can see in this video, they often hang out together around rocks and other structure. When a big tog comes down, it's a big, very strong bite. There we go. Oh, this might be the right species. This might be a nice tog. Oh yeah, gotta be. Oh. oh, that feels great. First tog of the year. Gotta get him in the boat. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, what a beast. Oh. What a great hit. 
big fish. Oh, yeah. Get them in the boat. Oh, wow. What a pig. Look at that guy. That is a monster. Monster talk. I am pretty pumped up about this dude. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, thank you, fish. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Whew. Wow. That is so, so awesome. What a fight. What a fight. Ugh. With a keeper tonk on board my kayak, I decided to make a paddle back home. Tontonk are a good eating fish. And if you do a nice job cutting them up, then you can get a really nice white filet. For dinner, Lauren decided to make a Mediterranean roasted tautog. Lauren used red onions, chopped tomatoes, minced garlic, cumin, and other spices. You can access the entire recipe right now by going to myfishingcapecod.com slash roasted hyphen tautog.